Newsflash, this is indeed a rebound because the Dow just had a session high, up 106 points, back to 34,000. Look who's here. David Barnson, the perfect guy of the moment, because this is the dividend guy. David, i got to tell you, with all this anxiety about this rally and the pullback, a lot of people maybe want to get out and they're looking for high paying dividend stocks to get into. What have you got for us? Well, there's a couple of names we can talk about. I really think, Stuart, it's important that we point out that we don't just want high dividends. You want sustainable dividends. If a company is paying a high dividend now because their stock price has gotten beat up, but then they're going to end up cutting the dividend like AT&T did, that's not what you want. You want companies that have a good, attractive dividend that can grow over time. That's all we do at the Bonson Group, but it's really what I think a lot of investors need for growth and for income. Okay, so who have you got that pays a high, reliable dividend? Well, if you want to have me on for a whole hour, I'll go through all 25 names. But since we only have a few no. minutes, I like Verizon today. And the reason why I point that one out is a 4.5% dividend yield that has grown every single year. But also because of the AT&T cut I just mentioned, AT&T decided to go out and run up the largest amount of debt in corporate America history to buy Time Warner, to buy DirecTV. Verizon said no. They're shedding off those content assets to focus on 5G, which is a really great growth uh, technology for the future. Verizon has protected their dividend. The other one, and we talked about a lot on your show, is uh, Midstream Energy, the oil and gas pipelines. The ticker is UMI. It's paying almost a 7% dividend, but you have all of these volumes of oil and gas flowing through the pipelines, and it is not worried about what the price of the oil and gas is. The business strategy is on volumes, and we know more than ever now, don't we, after last week, how much we need more pipelines in this country. Your strategy is to look at companies which pay a strong and growing and reliable dividend. Has that worked for you and your clients in recent years? It absolutely has, Stuart. Now, here's the thing. When you don't own the hot dot issue, obviously people say, oh, I'm, I might be missing out on something. But when you don't blow up from the hot dot issue, it kind of pays for itself, doesn't it? A lot of people think that for a strategy like this, you give up return. You do not. Over extended periods of time, dividend growers have outperformed non-dividend growers in the index. And you recall I was on your show years ago when I wrote a book called The Case for Dividend yep. Growth Investing. In my book, yep. I point out the utility sector has actually performed equally with the NASDAQ over 40 years when you count in the dividends reinvesting from utility stocks. So the ups and downs of the big tech stuff, they're a lot more fun. And a lot of the people who watch your show want that stuff. They like that. But if you want good, consistent growth, and if you want income from it that will not be interrupted during bad markets, I happen to think it's a superior strategy. I happen to know some people that have benefited from the dividends of a company like, say, Blackstone. <laughs> yeah, not naming any names, but looking right at me. And I'll, I'll take my hat off to you, David. You told me, you, you recommend on the air, I just took your advice from the air. You said buy Blackstone, BX is the ticker symbol. I bought it around 31, 32 when it was yielding, as you told me, I think it was 6%. I love that dividend. And the stock promptly went from 31, 32 to 90 right now. So you gave me, thank you very much, David Barnson, you're locked into this program forever. You gave me a capital gain and a solid dividend payment as well. You're a great guy. Barnson, you are a great guy. I don't care what they say. Okay. All right. Leave well, it at that, David. Thank you. Thank you. Make sure you tell week. my wife that, Stuart. <laughs> <laughs> Deal. Sure. Uh, Verizon and UMI. We got them. David, thanks very much indeed.